What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingrunet, and today I will be talking about why, why I like playing Lancer, why I think it's one of the better characters in the game, especially if you play a lot of solo, uh, me, I play a lot of solo and squad, uh, so obviously having a character that's a little bit of a dynamic character that is both good in a 4 man or 2 man or 3 man as well as solo is really, really important to me. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it, why she's such a good Lancer and why I picked the shooter. Um, I'll come on with a couple of suggestions of what you can play instead of Lancer, just in case you play with people who play Lancer or you're just not able to get Lancer in the game. Uh, so first off, I just want to show my stats, uh, and this is as a progression video as well, I guess. Uh, so as you see, I've been playing 3 days and 5 hours, today is Tuesday, uh, recording this in the morning. Uh, I'm level 57 uh, and so on. Uh, so yeah, 200 victories, uh, 192 revives. That's mostly from shock, basically. Uh, 2,700 uh, kills. Um, so if you're going to rogues, you can definitely see my lancer is my favorite. I've been playing a lot of shock as well. I'll get into that later. It's just lancer is such a good rusher when you like to play aggressive. Um, as you see, kills compared. Uh, I just think you can make a lot of good plays with Lancer, basically. Uh, yeah, so let's get into Lancer as herself. Um, okay, so she has an SMG. That's probably where you're going to be using the most. The shotgun isn't really that great. Uh, I used it a couple times. It works. It's not like some super OP shotgun. Uh, but you could definitely pull off a couple of plays on it if you're lucky. If you're getting headshots for it, it's pretty good. Um, but definitely the Spectre is definitely, or not Spectre, but the 24S, is definitely the best uh, gun she has. I think it's one of the weaker SMGs in the game, don't get me wrong on that. I think Shock is better, and I think the MP7 and the uh, LMPX is better. Uh, so it's definitely not the highest damage one, but it has a lot of range compared to the other ones. Uh, so when you upgrade one, you get increased hit fire accuracy, which is really, really vital. Uh, this awards you if you're running a lot, you can just run around people, you can just jump and hit fire at the same time. I use this a lot. Uh, increased damage range, this is also really good to have. Uh, it's a must have to be honest. Uh, basically because uh, if you can get more range and you have a bigger chance of killing people when they're crossing the mid or if you're coming behind people on, on longer ranges. Um, so yeah. Uh, the third one is increased mag magazine size. I don't think that's super necessary. Like this is what you should get when you have your nade and your life bleach. That's you know this is on all the way on the bottom what you should get. Basically because you can just roll and reload. I'll get into that. Uh, her secondary is a Spitfire. Uh, the way I play her is that with the first round we play, I just upgrade so I get the five more bullets and that's my almond um, going off. Uh, you get five more bullets when you use this. So that's pretty good. Um, I think with a full mag, you should be able to kill somebody on a diff like on a decent range with this if you're just hitting body shots or leg shots. Uh, so I would definitely get that. Uh, you don't need to really upgrade it to level two unless you really, really want to and you have a lot of money to spare really early on. Uh, me, I never buy it. Then you have throwing axe, just a standard melee weapon. Uh, it has the same as every other stuff. The smoke grenade I never really use, it's not something that I see me using because I usually flank a lot. Uh, I think smoke is better if you're playing like shock or something, but he, he doesn't have a smoke, he has the flashbang which is even better. Um, the Semtex is what you should be going for, you should upgrade this. As soon as you get your weapon to level 2 and you get your life drain, you should get this to level 2. Uh, basically you throw it a lot quicker, you can just throw it around the corner and then just run around the corner. Uh, trying to just run circle around people using grenade as like a corner catcher, you can kill them around corners, or you can kill them while they're chasing you. Uh, definitely getting level 2 upgrade of this one is really good uh, because of the range, you can pretty much just nade people off spawn if you're really good, if you know where you're to nade. Uh, so yeah, so basically you should, first thing you should ever do is buy, when you get to round 2, you should buy your gun and if you have enough money, buy a Semtex. And then you should upgrade your gun either twice or you should get the life drain. Um, so that gets into perks. Silent sound of your footsteps for not sprinting. It's okay, like it's not something that you need, but if you're not rushing too hard and you're more of a cautious player, this could be really handy for you because then they can obviously not hear you when you're sneaking around. Uh, deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition on treasure rounds. Don't use it, it's not worth it unless they have like a trench with trophy system and you really want to nade them. Uh, so we'll get into the first you should get, you should buy life drain, that's the absolute first you should get. This is crucial when you play 
Lancer because this will make you sustain a lot more and you can participate in more gunfights easier and you can win two, one against two and one against three with this if you know your movement well. Um, and then you should buy Stalker if you really want another perk, Stalker is pretty much the best perk except Life Drain. Uh, basically because you, it's like if you play Call of Duty, it's like Stalker, the right there, like it just it lets you move around a lot quicker when you're aiming down sight. Um, and it also takes, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it reduces your aim down sight speed as well. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Helping hand, it could be okay if you're really struggling and you have to ride your teammates a lot. Uh, tracking rounds, uh, you shouldn't use it, you should just rather just use, you know, you know in-game shaft or your ping. Uh, I don't see why people use this, but people can play however they want. Uh, so yeah, that's the things she has, that's the setup she has. Um, so as I said, let's go over this again. You should buy your gun in second round, as well as a grenade. Third round, you should either upgrade your gun twice and then get life drain. Uh, fourth round, you should upgrade, you should either get a life drain or uh, upgrade your gun. It's like, you can choose whatever you want to, basically. If you're not struggling with health, you should just upgrade your gun, but if you're struggling with health, you should just get life drain. Uh, then I would upgrade your, your grenade to level 2. Uh, that's really, really crucial if you want to get those grenade skills really often. After that, I would buy st uh, Stalker really handy to have and if you really really just want to spend money buy your silence uh, silent sound of footsteps uh, the padded steps and also when you're playing the first round and you just start the game in a zero zero upgrade your gun just once to get those five extra bullets is really good uh, it's definitely worth having it helps you out in a lot of situations um, so on to my suggestions what you could play if you're not getting Lancer I would then definitely recommend Talon I haven't played Talon that much uh, but I've seen a lot of people play him, and he's basically like a roamer, um, basically because he has life drain as well, uh, which is really handy. I, I just typically play around characters that has life drain because it's really really handy. His flashbang is absolutely disgusting. If you can run up on an objective, the C4 has a lot of range. Uh, his LMPX is the best uh, SMG in the game in my opinion. It has so much range and it has a lot of damage and it shoots fast and has 40 bullets. Uh, when you upgrade it once uh, and it has increased aim down sight accuracy which is just disgusting uh, other than that you can also buy or play shock uh, as well he has life drain as well and he's reloading when he's downing people he's just a machine and killing multiple people he's just like lancer just a little bit better because he has more bullets in his gun uh, he also has a flashbang you can just throw a flashbang at the objective or a flank and you can basically get a free kill has a Semtex grade as well, as well I recommend upgrading it to level 2 if you're playing him. He has, he has a Spitfire as well, so you can do the same upgrade once to get increased magazine. Uh, definitely his SMG is the best, it has 40 bullets when it starts out I believe. Yeah, he has 40 bullets and then you get up to, it doesn't even give you more bullets. Um, so yeah, it's a really good gun as well. I probably this, I would say this is like just over the um, Lancer's SMG, it's just a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, he also has the cloak, which is really handy if they're playing Dallas, or they have, like, say, Phantom with his smoke, or her smoke, or if they have Talon. Uh, so yeah, this is like the best three operators, you, or the two, I was like, suggested you ones you can play if you're not getting, uh, what is that, Lancer. You also have Ronan, but she doesn't have any sustain. Uh, her, she has the MP7, which is really good, and she has the AK. Both really good guns, uh, but as well, she doesn't have any sustain, I believe. But she has a lot of other good perks. She has the downing an enemy reloads your current equipped weapon and restore ammunition, which is really handy to have. Uh, she has a grenade, smoke, and she also has a Spitfire that you can upgrade to get magazine size. Uh, so yeah, that's like probably uh, the three characters I would play if you're not able to get Lancer or you're grinding to get Lancer, because then you'll be kind of like ready to play Lancer once you get her. Um, other than that, I wouldn't recommend anyone else. You have Scorch, of course, but she's another story. I'll make a video on her. I haven't played her a lot, but she's fucking annoying to play against. Um, you basically should never lose only one in close quarters if you're playing Scorch. Uh, I've never seen one of my teammates losing a one in one there in a close quarter, so definitely a good character to play. So anyway, that's Lancer for you guys. That's why I pick Lancer. I play Lancer a lot, as you can see on my stats. I have one and almost two days played on Lancer. I have almost uh, 350k on her. I have a lot of headshots, downs, eliminations. I basically, this is my main. This is what I play the most. It's like, I would just recommend people trying her. It's just a lot of fun to play. 
Um, what you have to do though is get kills with her. If you're not able to get kills, you're not bringing anything to the table, your equipment is garbage for team play. Uh, you can flank people of course, that's what you gotta play on, either flank or just go balls deep on a guy. And trying to just, you know, get a, I would say like a man advantage. Uh, so yeah, that's playing her. As you see, that's the character I played the most. Uh, there's probably a lot of better Lancers out there. Uh, but usually I never lose that much when I play Lancer. Basically because it's a solid character. And if you put a lot of time into it, or that character, or Rogue. You can basically do good with any Rogue. I see people playing Anvil, which is disgusting. And they know how to play him. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye, take care.